Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere out in uh, Washington, Washington State anyway, with El Dopey Dog as he... Uh, well, tries to get his employees to do what he tells them to do. Uh, but the problem is he's trying to do that with the, the Department of Corrections, and he isn't happy with the lack of response on their part. So he goes out and starts, uh, well, complaining about lack of service and everything like that. I mean... What a whiny little crybaby. It's the damn Department of Corrections. You're lucky you didn't get put into the facility uh, because of your stupidity. Because of uh, trespassing with a camera or something like that. I mean, come on now. Well then, at any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. El Dope Dog, I know you're not that bright, but I'm going to explain something to you right now. Of all the places you can go to try to get uh, these so-called public servants to bow down to your will, the Department of Corrections is probably the least likely to do it because, well, they don't have time for your BS. They've got more serious things to deal with, like uh, dealing with their favorite people in the world. The prisoners that they have to babysit. And believe me, most of these prisoners that they have to deal with are not exactly going to be as gentle or as incompetent as you. Many of them are quite intelligent and uh, will mess you up at a moment's notice. So the CEOs really have to be on their toes and not having to bother with the likes of you. You know, El Dope Dog, I really don't think you're putting two and two together here. I mean, that uh, camera doesn't have the ability to look past that glass right there, obviously, because it's a one-way mirror type of deal. And you want to know why? Do you really want to know why they do it, dude? Because it's a secure area. And they don't want idiots like you to see what's going on back there because it's a liability issue. Liability and high security because you are in a correctional facility. I mean, it's common damn sense. But of course, uh, I think it's just that you lack common sense along with many other frauditors who have attempted to uh, fraud a prison or a correctional facility or anything of that secure nature. Who's on probation? Huh? Who's on probation? Really? Yeah, who? Uh, you don't know? Oh, DOC? This is DOC? Yeah. Afternoon. Hi. Hi, Heath. How are you? Who's that? Alyssa. And yeah, why would you call me that? You, do, you, do you always call the public names? Frauditor, I think you need to get your hearing checked because I certainly didn't hear her call you any names. I mean, I think she asked you uh, how you were doing. You call me sir because that's who I am, sir. Are you here for right. You demanding to be called sir is like one of my girlfriends asking for uh, my class ring. That's not something you ask for. That's something you earn. And uh, I don't think you've earned the right to be called sir because, well, you're a total jackass. Is something specific today? Yes, I am.
This pen where they have a two way mirror on it, and they don't like to show us how they do drugs back there. I like it. Where you go if you yeah. this is where you go when they take your freedoms away yes that's where you go when they take your freedoms away now why do they take your freedoms away because you commit crimes because you prove yourself not to be worthy of those freedoms that uh, are given to you because you can't follow the rules I do not have a problem with me filming them because they're filming us. Well, yeah, dude, this is a high security area that, well, cameras are much needed in here because you never know what kind of nefarious people come in to do dastardly things. So, yeah, they gotta have them. Can see somebody back there. Can you guys see that back there? I got this two year mirror here. They, they love that. Excuse me, maybe you can help me. Don't want to service the public? Uh, just what kind of services do you need? Because the services here are very much limited as far as what the public gets. Because after all, this is a correctional facility, you mushhead. Subject to time. This is who I'm speaking to. Hello? Anybody work here? You guys on break? Lunchtime? Yeah, there are people back there. You heard them talking, but clearly uh, they don't want anything to do with you. I mean, I think you should take the hint and uh, walk out because otherwise they might be calling the cops on you. Am I here to make you work for your money? I'm asking, do you have any signs that say no cell phone use? Looking for those. Five minutes later. Hello? I need to know the color. What's the color? I don't know, bro, but uh, these guys work for me, and I'm, I'm going to have them work for me. Please, please. Could you give me the color today? I need to know what the color is. Dude, if you're do, uh, talking about a security measure, color of the day or something like that, uh, you are a security risk. They're sure as hell not going to give you that information. I mean, you're just somebody off the streets who doesn't, who clearly doesn't know what the hell they're doing to begin with. It's just in case you guys could be wrong. They, they'll know for sure. But they won't help me, so I guess it's a denial of service, right? What you guys say? You guys have a nice day. Please. All right. So that's how the department, Washington Department of Corrections, that's how they treat the public. Won't give me no information. It's rude to me. Calls me names. People don't understand what the Fourth Amendment right is. We, we have a right to our privacy. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo. Cry me a river and build me a bridge over it. They couldn't help you out, huh? or they didn't want to help you out. I mean, uh, let me take a wild guess and give you a good reason why they couldn't help you out. Because, well, it is a correctional facility, and they don't know exactly know why you're there. So, uh, yeah, uh, there's that whole thing right there. And they're just blurting it out to the public like that. Well, they're going to need to get trained, too. So there's no, 
No, uh, no trespassing signs. Signs. A little longer than a few minutes later. I don't know how to respect people. You don't know me. Why the fuck are you gonna call me by my name? Well, you call me sir. That's how you address the public. Yeah, I don't like these government officials here. But I do like the vehicles. See that? What does that mean? Is it like a turbo or something when they put that? Just make it. Did they beef up the horsepower? Uh oh. Uh oh, we got some hand sanitizer in there. I gotta see if it's official use. Say hand sanitizer. We got a bag up in there. What's inside that baggie, huh? Anything? Anything good? No? Oh my god, who the hell cares? It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Yeah, I gotta make sure there's no drugs in the car. Gotta make sure there's no drugs in the cars, man. Yeah, that's what I that's what I do, man. Hey, Check out my YouTube channel. It's fucking funny. You will love it. It's called it's called El Dope Dog on you on YouTube. E L D O P E D O G G. See, I got fans everywhere. People don't like these people. Fifteen minutes later. Public employees are learning very very fast. That's my goal. The quicker the better. Hewitt, you better fucking learn real quick about about. Fourth Amendment, you can't not say my fucking name like that in the public. I want all my public employees to know for sure. They do not put, treat the public like that. They don't know us personally. You call us by a personal name. You call us sir. That's what you call the public. You address the public with respect. Not necessarily. I mean, there's been times whenever I worked at Walmart where I've addressed a customer by their first name. I've even scolded them for acting like complete douche canoes at times. I mean, and I didn't get fired either. I, they could carry it on because, you know what, they were in the wrong. So, there you go. You just don't know that because you've never been employed, I suppose. Yeah, and I suppose that's his overall problem. He's, uh, well, he's just so far gone. He's just really unemployable, so he's got no choice but to act this way and act completely ignorant of how the world works. Oh, well. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.